What's up AI enthusiasts? Welcome back to AI in Action. I previously showed you how to get Google's most powerful AI tool, Gemini Pro, completely free for an entire year. A lot of you loved it, but I also got comments saying this method doesn't work anymore. Well, today I'm here to prove that it still works perfectly fine. I've tested it again, step by step, on fresh accounts, and I'll walk you through the whole process in real time so you can see it for yourself. No tricks, no fake promises, just a working method to unlock Gemini Pro with all its premium features for free. So stick around because by the end of this video, you'll not only see the proof, but you'll also know exactly how to make it work for you. And here's what you will need. Your credit card, your Indian VPN. The credit card can be from any country. This method works for any country, not just Indian and definitely no expensive monthly fees. This method is 100% legitimate and designed for students. Let's dive right in. Step one, creating student documentation. Step one is preparing your student verification documents. Don't worry, this is completely legitimate. We're not creating fake IDs. We're designing professional looking student IDs that reflect your educational background accurately. I've prepared a design template you can use based on authentic Indian college ID formats. Also, you can just follow me step by step as I design the ID card in the video. Just replicate it, but change the name and phone number. If you need phone number, just type fake Indian phone number on Google. For the customization, as you can see, I'm using Canva. A free account is enough. For the name, don't use the same details as myself. Go to Grok, ChatGPT, or Claude. Ask the AI to give you five unpopular Indian man's names. Pick one. For the institution, just use the one in this tutorial. When entering a student ID number, use the format 21BC followed by four digits of your choice. Add a course like BTEC, BCA, or MCA. For date of birth, use your actual DOB, but keep the year as 2004 for consistency. Make sure the issue date is recent, within the last 60 days. For the photo, generate a professional ID style image using an AI tool. I used Grok, you can use C-Dream, ChatGPT, etc. Prompt it with something like, create a professional headshot of a young Indian person, facing forward, neutral expression, good lighting, clean background. Crop it to standard ID size and insert it into your template. Once complete, export your file as a PDF or PNG for upload.
Step 2. Accessing Google's Student Program Next, open a new tab on your browser on Google, search for Google Gemini AI Pro for Student, or use the link in my description. Click the first link that shows on Google, then on the next page, click on Get Offer. On the next page, you'll see Google AI Studio Pro for Students, which clearly states that university students get free access to Gemini Pro for 12 months. Click Verify Student Status and fill in the eligibility form. Select India as your country, enter the same institution name as on your ID, and ensure your personal details match exactly. Use a fresh Gmail account that's never been linked to Gemini before. For academic year, choose the current year. Submit your application to move to verification. Step 3. Document Verification This is the stage where most people fail, so pay attention. Upload your student ID file. It must be under 5 megabytes, clear, and readable. Google's system will run an automated check that usually takes less than a minute. If successful, you'll see a confirmation message. If rejected, common issues include blurry images, mismatched details, or expired dates. Fix the issue, clear your browser cache, wait 24 hours, and try again. Pro tip, use Chrome's incognito mode for smoother results. Also, make sure your network is strong before going through with it. Once verified, you'll receive a confirmation email and access to the premium dashboard. It will show you a button that says, Get Google AI Pro. Click on it. Step 4. Activating premium features. With verification complete, it's time to activate your subscription. On your dashboard, click Get Student Offer. This is where some might have issues, so pay attention very well. Click on card, type in your card number. While you're typing it, it will show country, Indian. Click on it and change it to the correct country where your card was issued. Mine was issued in the USA. It refreshes the card and you're required to enter another one again. Enter your card details again. Click save. For mine, it shows purchase failed, but that's not an issue. Click on the get student offer again. Do not reload the page. It brings a pop-up. Just click subscribe. Do not edit anything, and boom, it tells you subscribed. The page automatically reloads. Click on Go to Gemini. That's all you are fully set up. Step 6. Managing your subscription. This part is critical. After your free year, Google will attempt to charge you unless you cancel auto-renewal. Go to your Google account, remove your card, or you can disable auto-renewal. Set a calendar reminder for 11 months from now to decide if you want to continue with the paid service. If not, you can always create another account with fresh documentation for another free year. Just be sure to use unique details each time. Results and benefits. And there you have it. You now have access to Google AI tools completely free. Your creative possibilities are unlimited. Professional videos, high quality images, smart documents, and powerful coding assistance. This gives you a massive edge over 99% of creators who are still stuck on basic free plans. Plus, since this method works across multiple accounts, you can even help friends and family. If this worked for you, 
Hit that like button and comment which AI feature you're most excited to try. Subscribe to AI in Action for more tutorials and hit the bell icon so you don't miss my next video, where I'll share advanced Gemini Pro techniques for viral content and workflow automation. Until then, keep experimenting, keep creating, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible with AI. See you in the next one.